Okay, hello and welcome again. Um, so this course um, is uh, weekly, it's an hour. So it's uh, life skills. Now, if you have, um, you know, some of you, uh, I think most of you have been there for the uh, course on Christian leadership. And also you would have, uh, uh, you know, studied other uh, courses. Uh, uh, I'm thinking of, uh, you know, if you've used the text uh, textbook, um, Timeless Principles for the Workplace, um, you know, uh, some of the things that we are learning, there will be an overlap. Okay, so let me just present and see what are the things that we are going through. And by the way, the notes are already uploaded. So you can, uh, you can check there. Um, let me just open up the notes here and share it. And um, uh, okay. Fine. There we go. I think you can just just coming on your screen. Um, okay. So um, I, I I don't know if you had a chance to go through the notes. So the contents. Um, let me just uh, go through. So uh, we'll do an in introduction today uh, about life skills. What. Uh, you know what? What are life skills? Why do we need to do this? Uh, is it important? And then also look at personal development. Uh, from there, we'll go into personal planning, goal setting. Uh, you know, these are things that we could have you know learned in the uh, earlier uh, sessions uh, in the previous um, semester. Uh, we will also look at uh, personal goal setting. Uh, interpersonal communication skills, the importance of that, and also look at time management, money management, people management, uh, conflict resolution, uh, creativity and critical thinking, um, team decision making, emotional and cultural intelligence, change, and continuous learning. Okay, so uh, we're going to be looking at that. Uh, uh, for as far as the grading of this course uh, goes, uh, we will have uh, two quizzes, okay, um, and we'll of course announce it uh, that the due date for the quiz and so on. So we'll have two quizzes, and uh, so that will be towards the the final grade for this course, right? Um, so just want to say that this is a it's a fun course it's a it's a it's not as intense as the other other courses um but re really talks about some important aspects um of life skills okay so if you look at the the word skill itself right uh, it's it's when you say skill somebody is skilled we see that hey somebody has an ability to do something really well Okay, so let me just put it in the chat here. Um, excuse me. Yeah, so the, is, it, it is the ability to do something really well. Okay, so that is skill. When you say, okay, uh, this person is a skilled carpenter, that means that, yeah, there are people who are doing some woodwork, but this person is skilled. You know, he he does a good job or she does a good job. Um, and when you, so it's something, it could be something to do with your hands, uh, a skill. It could be something that, uh, uh, that you've learned uh, and maybe it's something, some other ability. Okay, so it doesn't um, matter. It could be uh, ability to maybe speak or whatever. You know, it could be any ability. Um, so the ability to do something well is called a skill, and it also is a, you know, the uh, we can call we can say it's an expertise. Okay, an area. We say it's a skill driver. You know? a, a person is good, uh, and uh, it means that. He has that expertise or he has that ability, right? So that's a uh, skill. So why are we looking at uh, life skills? Uh, when we say life skills, what do we mean? It means that as we go through life, as we live our life, uh, we're going to look at some of these skills which really make our life uh, uh, not just comfortable, but also make us effective in, uh, in leading that life. Okay. And uh, whatever things that we do, uh, it makes uh, or gives us the capacity to be efficient. Okay, so uh, yes, uh, to maybe solve problems, maybe to um, 
you know deal with certain challenges and so on so these skills actually give us the uh, confidence um, to face those challenges and also give us the ability to solve um, those uh, maybe those problems um, so these skills are good you know it's like having tools in a toolbox right and it's always good so what will this result in you know as someone who's in bible college or someone who's uh, you know maybe going into ministry definitely this will help us where uh, we learn skills where we are aware about ourselves you know if you look at the some of the things that we went through uh, it's about um, you know management of our time you know a person in ministry certainly needs to know how to manage one's time a person who's working if you're not in you know what is full time ministry if you're working in a um, you know in a in a setting professional workspace uh, well that's a that's a skill that we need to uh, definitely have right how do i manage my time um and uh, and so on how do i manage my money right uh, maybe you are fantastic you are very good at doing it or maybe you're saying you know i that's always been a problem i wish i knew two three things some of those basic things that will help me um, well we're going to be looking at that so so here are you know these things will really help us you know as a person right as a person it will help us uh, live our life well Uh, live our life with confidence so whether in whatever setting we might be in you know it could be a rural setting it could be an urban setting it could be a ministry setting uh, you know it could be a church ministry uh, kind of a setting or it could be um, you know you're, you maybe you're working as a professional whatever be the call of god on your life whatever be the current setting uh, you know you could you could be a homemaker uh, this would definitely uh help right this will boost our confidence this will really help us even as we acquire these skills okay so um so that is why we have this course uh, right in the middle or right in the you know uh, final year final semester if you've been doing a three year program um uh, we have that so that we can uh we can add to our toolbox you know uh, and and use it okay so um Uh, there could be other things that uh, you know we while we look at these uh, some specific things within this semester there could be other things apart from this which will really help us also so uh, well we could it will be great if you can pursue that learn that and receive that skill okay so uh, first of all uh, uh, we're just going to look at this whole uh, topic or this um, uh this this specific function or not function really topic uh this area of personal development okay so you we develop ourselves as a person you know uh why what uh, and so on so the thing is that um, you know we we've been looking at um, the sessions and uh, which develop us spiritually right we've been looking at things that we develop about the inner man uh, prayer and word and worship and so on this this helps us uh, you know definitely it helps us as a person as a tripart being you know spirit soul and and body you know if we indulge in exercises and so on um so this helps us as a, as a person now we need to understand that as human beings right um we have a spirit soul and body like we learned and what we see in the natural will influence and affect the spiritual in us in the sense if we have some challenges in the physical um that has a bearing on the spiritual as well right so if we have a wonderful ministry uh and we're doing you know we are we are just uh a uh, wonderful ministry uh, we are you know spending time in the presence of god we are you know receiving revelation from the spirit of god when we are ministering wonderfully uh, well well praise god that's that's amazing but if if on the natural side of things you know if we are lacking certain things like uh, we're not managing our time well we always show up late for meetings we always uh, let's say we're not very really organized um in our lives and uh, then that has a bearing on the spiritual as well right so that affects the spiritual um like okay we we 
we are we are fine uh, as as a as individual ministers but then uh, as the ministry grows and then we have other people join the ministry come and join us and we have a team now if we do not know how to handle the team or you know communicate to the team because everything is here right here and right here and we just go about doing things but we have other people working with us and if we are not really communicating to them and communicating with them then there is a problem like it it affects the spiritual so people are not on board people are not enthusiastic and uh, there are conflicts and let's say when when conflicts happen and we do not know how to handle those conflicts how to resolve those conflicts um you know interpersonal conflicts then we have a you know a team that is weakened a ministry team that is not seeing eye to eye then the vision is broken and so on so we see that the physical or the natural does influence and impact the uh, spiritual right so uh, so it's good that we as we develop we develop as um, you know we we look into developing ourselves as a person and developing these simple skills uh, when we have these it it helps us in the long run right um, so let's uh, look at this whole thing of um, you know personal development how can we develop ourselves how can we develop us ourselves as a person maybe the skills and qualities and some of the things that we need in life so what, one thing we need to understand is that it is um it is a lifelong process okay it's not something that starts with this semester and ends uh by the end of the semester it's not something that starts in august and ends in november no it is a lifelong we pick up these skills uh we learn the basics the fundamentals of it but then we can go through life and continue to learn and continue to hone these skills and uh, and be better at it so that we can be effective okay so it's a lifelong thing it, so it's good that we make it part of our lives like part of our living okay um so uh let's go to that thing of personal uh, development okay so one of the things that uh, when we when we consider personal development is um, uh, we look at this um uh, it's good to uh, look at um this theory uh, by this psychologist you know a humanistic psychologist um of course it's not the perfect a uh, thing but it's there are several things that we can learn from this theory we have uh, in the 1900s uh, this uh, psychologist called uh, maslow okay so maslow abraham maslow he proposed a theory okay now in this theory he suggested uh, a hierarchy of needs okay let me just uh, present that uh, on the screen so we can look at it um a hierarchy of needs uh, it's called maslow's uh, hierarchy of needs uh, so abraham maslow uh, he proposed this theory um, uh, you know one of the things that we need to understand is that uh, the spiritual side of things is is missing here okay so it's not the perfect thing it's not addressing that but we can definitely learn uh, quite a bit from here so so what did maslow propose okay he maslow proposed that um, every human being has several needs okay so it's uh, he he put it like a pyramid and he said that uh, every human being has several needs and the need can be like this he listed it and um, in the order of importance okay um, so this is a theory this is what he proposed i'm not saying that <clears throat> you know it has to be this way but it's a theory that he proposed and we can learn a lot from this right and um, so if you if you look at the pyramid at the base of the pyramid is what we you know what he put forth as psychological or physiological needs sorry physiological needs meaning uh basic needs for the body you know i need food i need water i need oxygen um to breathe i i need rest uh i'm i need some exercise i need uh times of leisure right so or, or maybe uh, entertainment and so on and and some physical needs and and all that. so he puts puts that as uh, as a base of the pyramid saying 
uh, it's a physiological need. Now, every human being has these needs. Now, if you look into your own lives, you'll say that, yes, you know, uh, this is how I've been created. And, you know, there's a huge... So Maslow proposed that, you know, these needs have to be met. Okay. And when these needs are met, then the then there is another set of needs. What are those needs? Um, need for safety. Okay. Uh, need for safety, uh, both physically and psychologically. Uh, need for secure health. Need for the resources. Uh, and need to have some familiarity. And need of a you know particular routine for every day. So, you know safety needs. Okay. Then over and above that, uh, he listed uh, a need of wanting to belong, you know, being part of a community, being part of a family, some social needs, right? Uh, being affiliated, being part of a group, um, uh, being able to love, being able to trust, um, being able to receive and give, you know, affection and, and love and so on. So he, he put that as love and belongingness, you know, that need. Then, uh, you know, so these this need also needs to be satisfied. So, so when you satisfy these needs, then you go on to another set of needs, which is the need for respect, self-worth, self-esteem, uh, maybe at work with the people whom you, you know, work with or people whom you know. It could be with family members. Uh, the need for esteem, you know, you need to be affirmed need to be esteemed, respected, and so on. So he put, put it as esteem needs. Um, then over and above that, he put a set of needs called cognitive needs, meaning a need to understand, need for learning, need for knowledge, um, uh, the need to uh, you know, uh, answer some questions about meaning and purpose and so on. Right? Then um, some aesthetic needs, need for beauty, creativity, um, you know, some outlet for creativity, some outlet for design, and and so on, and uh, the need for art, you know, to appreciate art, okay, aesthetic needs, and then on top of the pyramid, self actualization, meaning that being the person that uh, and reaching the potential that you have, okay, maybe there is a potential that's not been utilized at all then on top of the pyramid he put that self actualization need knowing that you have a potential and you need to use that potential meaning ability or a gift or a talent or um you know uh, and, and and of that sort to be able to reach the full potential of that so um so this is Maslow's hierarchy of needs. So, so it's 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 a hierarchy, meaning you start from the base and then you work your way up. So that's so that was his um, that's his theory. And uh, uh, really, it uh, see if you see, there's nothing of the spirit, right? It it uh, definitely does not talk about uh, sin or talk about. So uh, obviously, he's is a, a secular, is a humanistic. A psychologist and uh, so he you know he, he just proposed this theory and it, it has uh, certain elements definitely has certain elements of truth to it because uh, you know this is uh, th this is how we function as human beings you know we we want some basic needs in life and when those needs are met we are looking to the other things in life okay so the thing is that um, self-actualization is also a need okay is also a need there and to reach that we need to really develop our potential develop ourselves develop certain abilities in us in order to reach that in order to uh, reach the potential or uh, uh, in in maslow's word self actualization right to reach that so um, there is uh, there is this need there there is this hierarchy um, of needs in us. Well, uh, another way to say self actualization is to become everything that we are capable of becoming. To become fully what we are capable of becoming. Like, well, as believers, we we know that uh, God has called us for certain things. He equips us. He 
you know put gifts in us and and well that's really driving us right we we move in that direction we want to be all that god wants us and uh, see that's the other that's the missing aspect right which is there in maslow's theory but the fact is that we have these needs okay as human beings we have these needs okay so it's good to recognize that it's good to um, uh, 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 be aware of that and develop ourselves there's nothing wrong there's no harm in developing ourselves as a person uh, in order to be all that we were meant to be right to become all that god wants us to to become to to develop ourselves as a person okay so when we when we look at that um, okay a few things where we can see uh, how we can develop ourselves or how we can take steps to practically develop ourselves or pra- personally develop ourselves is uh, one of the things is that the resource that all of us have okay the, to be uh, able to develop to be able to manage that resource that all of us have okay a person may may not have money a person may not have uh, maybe you know the kind of talent that the other person has but one thing that all of us have is time okay we've been given the same 24 hours uh, so all of us have that uh, as a resource so how what can we do and how do we manage that time how do we organize that um, uh, time okay so we we of course looked at something in the previous uh, you know semester how do we manage time but also uh, i mean which is it, it's good to look at a few things here um we see that uh, the time that we spend you know if you are a student of course the the list of priorities differ if you are uh, it differs for everyone like if you are a student and a person who is um, you know married and you have children and you know your the way you spend your time changes right um, or if you are a uh, if you are a working professional and uh, you know if you are a student and then the way you spend your time changes uh, you're going to be spending 9 to 5 at uh, your organization or you know whatever time it is you know it could be it could be in the night right you have a different shift so you're spending your time differently now you also have you know maybe family you also have uh, other responsibilities uh, maybe like you're helping out in a church your your or you have your own ministry and the people that uh, you need to take care of your shepherding a church and so on so uh, for each one it is different but the fact is that we need to develop the ability to manage our time right and uh, the sooner we do that uh, the better okay so uh, the simple thing was would be to have uh, like we um, looked at uh, you know earlier the simple thing would be had to have uh, what we would say a daily schedule okay so a daily schedule okay this is what i would do you know i could be a homemaker i could be a, a working professional but i need to have a schedule there there needs to be a time uh, i need to know okay this is the time that i wake up and these are the times that these are the things that i need to do from the time i wake up till the time i go to work okay so there are routines there are uh, certain tasks there are certain responsibilities within that so it's it's good to have a daily schedule you know as a believer we spend time reading the word we spend time uh, in the presence of god praying personal worship uh, study study of the word and so on so um, so the question to ask ourselves is uh, as we you know develop ourselves as we take those steps in personal development is to ask ourselves you know do i have a a uh, daily schedule do i have a daily routine right now it may not be the same for all the days of the week uh, our sundays could be different our saturdays could be different our vacation times could be different but we just to be aware uh, of the fact that we need to have a schedule 
Now, some people might argue and say, okay, I, I don't need a schedule, you know. I don't want to have a schedule. Um, I would do as the need arises. I would work as the need arises. Well, it's great if you can do that, but it's going to be a little taxing in the sense, what if there are things of priority coming your way and uh, you don't, you've not planned towards that, plan to spend your time? Like what? What a daily schedule would help us uh, is to allocate our resources, okay? Resources meaning uh, money uh, or maybe even ability to to really direct us, our resources, our time, our energy, right? So, for example, if you know that 10 o'clock you have a important meeting, then you would not plan anything else um, at around 10 o'clock, right? You, you would not plan anything else and you would schedule something for a later time during the day. Uh, but because, because you have that crucial meeting at 10 a.m. and you need to be present and you need to prepare maybe. So you're doing all that because you know, because you've scheduled uh, in your you know routine, uh, in your daily schedule, because you've put you block that 10 a.m. for that meeting, uh, then you plan towards it. You, you you prepare towards it. You allocate your resources towards it, right? Uh, it could be, it's a simple thing. You know, all of us do that as second nature. You know, we just do that. But some of us may not be aware, right? So it's good to have a schedule. It's a, a daily schedule, a daily plan. Um, if, if um, you know, when we looked at um, uh, management of time, we also can look at management of big chunks of time and smaller chunks of time smaller portions of time, uh, we can look at, okay, we see that, well, the, uh, the whole 12 months, the year is actually time. So within that year, I have these 12 months. So how am I, what am I going to do in these 12 months? You know, you remember we looked at that, you know, if it's church, if it's ministry, what are we doing as a church in these 12 months? Um, it's good to, you know, uh, uh, think about that. It's good to plan that, and also, you know, as a, as a, as a, as a uh, you know, maybe uh, someone is a is a homemaker, right? It's good to plan. It's good to plan for the week. You know, um, I, uh, we, I, I have I, I, maybe as a family, we're all now uh, working from home, and um, you know, it's good to plan. Okay, this is the time that the family gathers around and has their meals. You know, uh, each one has different schedules, but then okay, breakfast. Like for example, right now, my daughter does online classes, and uh, my wife and I we work from home. My mother is, uh, you know, visiting us and staying with us, so uh, she'll she'll ask us, you know, so what time are we having breakfast and you know what uh, what are we having for breakfast etc so we'll just say just forget it you know breakfast each of us have our own schedules you know some days we start early like today um, my official work time started at 8 8 a.m when we had our you know mentoring hour and, and so on and just continuing you know back to back with classes and so on so um, you know breakfast is not something that i can sit with a family and have I'll just grab a quick bite or a coffee and then that's it. You know, my daughter has online class, so she'd say, uh, you know, I, 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 I can't really sit down. So, okay, breakfast is not happening as a family. So lunch time, uh, most often we will gather together and, you know, have as a family. And dinner, you know, definitely we will have a set time where we will gather together unless something uh, unforeseen happens, an unscheduled meeting happens. So, you know, as a homemaker also, you having a daily schedule helps right? how we manage our time and how we so managing time uh, just scheduling time also helps us to manage our efforts manage our other resources and and so on so it's a very important part of personal development um, okay and there'll be several other things also you know, as we um, as we manage uh, our time some of the tools to help us would be a uh, you know, on a daily basis would be a to-do list. Okay. Um, so uh, I remember sharing about to-do list, right? So to-do, what what are the things, what are the tasks that I need to do today, right? And you can actually divide that into several boxes or several sections. Um, 
my to-do list uh, for the day normally has at least four to six, uh, you know, lists within that, right? So I have a Bible college to-do list. I have a worship team to-do list. I have a, a general admin to-do list. I I have, uh, a, you know, uh, uh, within the worship team, I have a APC music to-do list and so on, right? So uh, there are other micro lists within that big uh, list itself. So that helps me to uh, make sure that I, I know what those tasks are uh, for the day. And I know, uh, you know, what are the things that, uh, that could be done at a later date. Uh, but primarily, you know, I don't want to miss out uh, not doing certain things. Right, so some things could be, uh, you know, postponed to a late date. But then I want to know what those tasks are. So a to-do list, a daily to-do list, will really help us to, or help me, and help us to understand what those tasks are. And it's very interesting, right, uh, to list down and to see what are those things that I need to do. Uh, I might even have a personal to-do list. Okay. This is what I need to do. I need to buy some things for the house. I need to do some, you know, pay some bills. And this is on my personal time. I need to be able to uh, do these things. I need to call up some per people, uh, some, some official calls, some some personal calls, some official emails, some personally, and so on. So that comes into the to-do list, right? So it, it's good if we, you know, when do, when do I make these lists? Sometimes... The previous day, and that's the best time, like the you know, the previous night or the previous evening, you know, to to focus and say, okay, this is what I need to do. Uh, you could also say, look at the week and say, okay, by this end of this week, I want to do these 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 things. I want to finish these things, right? Okay, so that's about the uh, uh, a to do list will help us. Um, we'll we find out that when we are uh, managing our time. Um, we need to be able to say yes to certain things and also equally important is the ability to say no to certain things, right? There's only so much time in the day and if your life gets busy um, doing the things that God has called you to do, you know, uh, and your responsibilities that you need to carry out, sometimes you need to say no, okay? Now, it could be a very important thing, but... Uh, you need to be able to say no. Like, for example, if there's a social um, social meeting, like, you know, the family is saying, uh, you know, we're planning to have a dinner. And uh, let's say, for example, if they say, sometimes they say, you know, Sunday, Sunday is when everybody's free. Uh, they're also free and they say, okay, uh, please, can we, uh, can we have lunch together as a family? And uh, maybe some uncles and aunts and, and everybody's saying, um, uh, okay, I say, what time? Uh, say uh, uh, twelve thirty, uh, but then I have to say no, right? So uh, if we are, if it's twelve thirty, I'm I'm in church, right? When we have the in person meetings, and for me to finish uh, and then uh, you know meet with people and pray with people and and so on and then come, it's going to be at least uh, you know if it's an in person meeting, it'll be at least two o'clock, or if it's an online service, then there is always the you know the time when you log in and uh, and zoom calls and and you know, pray pray with people and so on so that also takes time so you need to factor in that so you need to tell the guests uh, you know i will be able to come only after this time but if there's something very you know I, we need to take a call we need to make a decision there saying that i will not be part of it i can be part of it if it's later or to say you know to to ask for permission uh, from the ministry, from the organization, and say, you know, I, I need to be here. I cannot, you know, be part of this today. I need to be. This is very important. Um, uh, the family is there, and the people are visiting, and I need to be able to do this. And uh, so, can I be excused, right, uh, from uh, from that particular Sunday, from that respons official responsibility? So, it helps us to plan. It helps us to say no to certain things and yes, right? So uh, it really helps us. Okay, so managing time, very, very important. Okay.
another uh, thing when it comes to personal development is um, listing down uh, are you know this is especially helpful for those who are going to be seeking a job and even otherwise you know if you if you want to um, you know not really work at a job but then you want to work with a uh, you know ministry you know it's good to prepare your cv you know or a, or a resume okay uh, a cv of course it means uh, curriculum by t um I, i think it's latin for uh, you know whatever you have studied and whatever you have learned and uh, uh, your experience you put that down right so it's either a cv or sometimes you call it a resume or you call it a bio data so um so so the question is i know have i made a you know I, i when i when i when i look at the class i see that okay some of us are already serving on weekends but um, you know maybe you have your own uh, set of responsibilities that you're doing but you know if there is a plan to you know after you trained in bible college you, you need to let's say god is leading you to work with a ministry or a church or god is uh, the lord is leading you to work with an organization so it's good to prepare a cv prepare as you may and have it ready so uh, when we say um, like so i just want to know like how many of you have uh, you know prepared your cv or you you have your cv ready right now you can just put it in the tag, uh, text or if you, you can just say yes uh, if you've not prepared you can just say no uh, but i'd like to know and right? how many of you have already have your resume okay okay right anyone else um okay okay right okay so some of us have some of us don't uh probably you know you some of us who are saying no maybe you, you don't feel a need because you're already doing something or you know um or maybe you didn't think about it you know should i uh maybe you thought okay when it comes to that you know when if there is an interview if there is a thing then i'll prepare um whatever be the case you know it's good to be prepared beforehand at least to know that okay there are several formats there are several ways by which i can put this information together and present it okay so i'm going to share um some information here uh where you can um check online i've i mean i'm sure there is there, there are lots of websites there are lots of resources for you to prepare your resume i just found one which is interesting and i'll just put the link here um you know, livecareer.co.uk it's a it's a you know uk based uh, organization uh, but they it's a it's an organization which helps in career advice um you know other things like uh, covering letter and how you prepare a resume so let me just um quickly uh you know uh, project that screen and you can take a look at it uh what it, what uh, the things that it does right so let's do this um okay um sorry just a minute please yeah okay um can you see that okay uh, you see that appearing okay fine so um so here's something called uh, you know live career and they have several tabs here you know there's a cv builder or they have uh, cv templates um you know information on how to write a cv um you know this is interesting right um so you have professional cvs modern cvs creative ones basic ones um so you can you know you can see all the let's check that um so they have quite a few uh you know these kind of things see resume so you can actually use it and 
you know, step by step uh, process uh, that takes you to okay. So this is what you do. You can try it out, uh, and let let's just try a few things. Okay, so it's asks you, have you ever written a CV? Yes or no? Okay, I'll just say no for now. Uh, continue. Are you a student? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, then okay. So these are the templates that they rec so template is a format, you know, pre-designed template. So you select a template. Okay, let's select this. Okay. So you can if you already have a CV, you know, some of you said that you have already prepared a, a resume, you have a CV. You know, you can transfer everything to the new template. The information that is there, you can transfer or you can create a new CV. Right, um, so you go there and uh, okay. So it starts with you know first name, surname, your you know where you are from, and then and then goes on. Okay, so let's say um, um, let me just okay, see um, Bangalore, country India, a okay, postal code. Okay, phone. Um, okay, are these important things? Okay, let's say I just continue. Oh, it needs the email ID. Okay, um, let me see. It takes that. Okay, phone number. Mm. Okay, I don't know if it'll take it. Let's see. Okay, so I, you know, uh, it, it needs a Google account. Uh, I can skip that. Okay, so the next is experience. So we put personal information, then experience, right? So personal experience, if there is a work experience, you know, you can enter that. Um, so if you don't have a work experience, then you can just, I guess you can go ahead. Um, okay, job title and so on. So, um, right, so this is a interesting way to build your uh, resume yeah so you could use that link and and if you check online there are many 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 other ways by which you can make a very attractive um, resume for yourself uh, which lists sound so a resume typically has several components or parts to it sections to it your personal information then your educational qualification you know what did you, what's, what schooling or college, if you've been to college, what education have you had? What formal education have you had, right? So uh, let me just put that down. So you have personal um, information. Uh, personal information would be your name, your date of birth, so people know how old you are or how young you are. And also your contact information, if they need to contact you, phone number, your email, your place of residence, your address, right? So um, this, this, and also personal information would also mean um, several things like, uh, it could be like, okay, the languages that I know, you know, for some jobs, for some, uh, you know, uh, jobs that would be a, uh, plus, you know, the languages that I know to read, the languages that I know to speak. So people normally mention that, right? So you could mention that uh, personal information. So then then you have educational um, uh, qualifications. So in educational qualifications, it's, it's best to, you know, if there is a degree, if there is a diploma, and uh, you can mention that. Where did you do that? Like which institute, let's say you're saying Bible college student, or you finished your diploma, you finished your degree, you know, soon after you finish that, you'll do that. Uh, so you can say BTH, um, Bachelor of Theology um, from APC Bible College and the Ministry Training Center, Bangalore. And uh, you can also, you, you need to, it's good to also mention from what uh, date to what date, you know, you would say um, 2018 till 2021, you know, you joined in May 2000 uh, or August 2018 and you're finishing in May uh, 2021, right? So, um, so that's your educational qualification. And also, you know, uh, a good thing to list down is your experience, okay? So it could be work experience or ministry experience, 
okay so here also you know maybe you worked in different companies like i worked in four different uh, organizations right so um, right from 98 so 98 to 2000 was in a different organization and then and so on so uh, i need to put down okay i worked in this organization i worked as this you know i what was my role uh, in that organization and um with and also it's good to mention from this date till this date so which means that i worked for 2 years in this organization as a sales executive and um, i you know so you, all that information is there so a person who looks at the resume finds out that okay uh this person has this experience this person has this um, you know uh uh qualification oh yes you know he's done this and you can also you know maybe mention uh if you had any awards if you about your performance okay so that's another thing work experience and also about your performance maybe you top the organization in the saying or your accomplishments really you know when it comes to uh now work or ministry you can just write what what did you achieve what did you accomplish right um it it may be in terms of what you finished what you completed you know you did this project you did this outreach you did this uh, church plant um what did you do you know you grew it to this number or it could be anything right you think about what you did and you can uh, mention that uh, also and also uh you know if you look at some of the templates it talks about you know what what are you looking forward to right? what is your objective um that you want to serve in this area that you want to work in such a environment and so on so so you mentioned that the objective right um so if you look at that uh, website that i just showed you know it it will have all these sections and probably it will have some additional sections as well and uh, an interesting way of displaying it okay now of course um, most cvs would be going digitally you know you email the cv and uh, it's best that you know the person who looks at it um, you know has this photograph one snapshot of okay this is who the person is and then it, it should move that person to make a decision make a choice you know you put things clearly uh it's all uh, you know written well um it's uh, everything is listed out so it's easier for the person who's going through the resume to come to a decision okay should we move this should i i want to meet that person i want to interview that person you know i want to talk to that person to find out if he or she is a good fit for our organization so a resume really helps that so right so that's a that's a skill uh, that's a you know as your thinking of personal development that's a skill um and another thing that we need to look at when it comes to we'll finish with this another thing that we look at when it comes to personal development is uh, um you know personal development is about learning right we are learning new new skills you are learning new things as we develop ourselves as we build up ourselves so there's always this new thing that we are receiving taking in uh, building on what we already know uh, now what is a barrier for that could be several things right uh, where we we are kind of close to learning something new or we think that it's it's going to take great effort so i don't want to put in that effort i don't want to put in that time so we could have uh, s- several barriers okay uh, i'm just going to look at uh, you know a few uh, uh, things or at least three things right one is um, a lack of confidence you're saying you know i'm at a stage in life where i can't learn a new skill you know this typically would be you know people who are senior people who are you know uh, older saying that i i've seen it all i've gone through things uh, i'm at a stage in life where i don't i don't have the interest to learn right i don't want to develop myself now that's a great barrier because maybe god has a plan god has uh, you know things for you to learn and do and so on but then you're saying that uh, i can't I, i i don't have the ability and it could be because of various things but one thing uh, one factor could be lack of confidence you know you're saying i i don't have the confidence or um you're saying i i don't have the ability and so on okay right well uh 
have a realistic picture of yourself if if, if that's an area where god is leading you to uh and uh, and not just you know something that you just thought of but it's an area that you you know the uh, area of interest uh, area that you're leading you're really keen on it you know you know so it's good to discard that low self esteem work on that low self esteem get a true picture of who god thinks you are right and and move on uh, another thing could be um economic situation you know th- now this is a real thing you know some of if we want to learn yeah hey, i want to do this course but i don't have the money to do it i don't have the f- resources to do it uh now when we check online we see that there are several courses uh which are free okay now you, i i think i shared this earlier but you know you can check with coursera.com or uh, edx um so i think these are the the other sites you know you could check these out and see that there are courses that of course you need to pay for there are courses that are free right maybe you want to learn how to uh, and there are of course uh, a lot of videos on youtube okay but if you want to do a a course which is uh, you know a regular course which is um, uh, where you have classes and where you have tests and so on you could, we could you know you could choose one of these platforms coursera or edx and uh, and see you know is there a course that i can do for free it could be 4 months it could be 3 months and you can you can actually do that right and to get the certificate or a certification they do normally charge there is a charge for that but uh, a lot of it you know you can actually learn for free and there are a lot of videos on youtube where you can learn for free so uh, any skill you know you might think okay i don't have finances well uh, we'll be surprised to see that there are many courses that are free and there are many places where they offer scholarship but we need to spend some time to see um to explore to do some research to find out where these opportunities lie okay and another barrier could be uh yeah i have family commitments you know i'm a, i'm a uh, i'm a mother i'm a i'm a dad i'm a whatever you know i have these commitments i need to cook i need to provide for the family i need to work and so on yes that is a real uh that there is a real challenge right but we can always you can always uh work on uh, work around that challenge and if we can plan your time and schedule your time and say okay i will do this i i have this window of time you know on a sunday or a saturday and maybe i can spend one hour doing this right and we can plan it it may it might take longer than the other than the others to learn you know or go through that course but but you can do it anyway right so just want to encourage us um so we looked at uh, life skill we looked at what skill is and we looked at personal development and some of these things uh, uh which we can which can really help us time management preparing our resume and overcoming certain barriers to learning things okay so we now with that we'll end this session and uh, of course if you have questions you can always uh, uh, we'll pick it up in the next class right you can always put it in the chat and uh, we'll pick it up uh, in the next uh, uh, session okay i hope you found that useful uh, we'll meet again next week um, god bless you guys okay let me just stop the recording now and uh, yes